Hello class and professor and everyone on YouTube who will see this video. This is for my psych class. You're supposed to do a psychological concept from the text and I chose to do mine on the acronym OCEAN, otherwise known as the five big personality traits. So I'm gonna do my best to explain them and do like a demonstration for each. Disclaimer, none of this stuff is meaning to offend. I am just doing my best to be funny, and I'm sorry if that's offensive. I happen to think that I have a lot of these qualities that I will be making fun of, so don't take any of this personally. Okay. So the first um, word for the acrid emotion is openness, and people who are open tend to be curious, intellectual, creative, so they're gonna be more like artsy. Um, these are gonna, typically gonna be people who are like maybe musicians or painters or, again, typically. Uh, the downside of being too open could be naivete or being gullible. A little too open, a little too like, like a feather flowing in the wind kind of deal. Check out this cool little thing I made. Isn't it awesome? There's something so unique and just intriguing about fashion. Oh, let's see. So do you think your childhood had anything to do with why you turned out that way? I'm curious. Hmm. So what are all the ingredients in it? Oh no, I'm just curious. I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna get anything, but I'm just wondering. So the next one is conscientious. Um, following the order of ocean, which by the way in the book it's under canoe, but I just um, I just prefer ocean. Conscientious, conscientious. I hate that word. <laughs> Typically who are dependable or systematic, they tend to be organized, disciplined, right? The downside, like being overly meticulous or maybe routine can become like rigorous. Since they're very organized, they're probably on top of their schedule. They probably are ahead of the game, making sure that they're getting projects done ahead of time um, and never late. To have structure and to be conscientious is essential for life. Um, to meet your deadlines, to stick to something you said you're going to do, it's an important quality to have. Yeah, every morning at 5 a.m. I'm up and I'm going for a run and I'm coming back home and I'm having some oatmeal and then in about an hour I'll have like an entire avocado and then I'll go to the gym and work out and this is all before everybody wakes up and then afterwards I'll... Are you done cleaning? You missed a spot. Well, if you half-ass sleep in your room, how do I know you're not gonna half-ass your entire life? The way you do one thing is the way you do everything else. Oh, I'd love to go out, but I have to focus on this short essay. Yeah, it's doing about six months, so gotta get a head start. The next one on Ocean is extroversion. So in the text, it describes extroversion as sociable, fun-loving, affectionate. So these are gonna be like the outgoing people who thrive on attention, who get energy from it. They feed off of it. Um, sorry, did I say attention? I meant to say like connection. <laughs> Probably attention too, but I think they feed more off of in groups, like hangout sessions. They like doing things in groups. They like talking to lots of people. Um, whereas like introverts kind of get drained from all of this. The downsides of extroversion, you can come off as maybe too assertive or, or annoying if you're constantly like so energetic. To some people who are not very energetic, this can come off as like distrusting or as like just too much like that person is ooh. oh my god we have got to go to this pizza place no you have to check it out no no wait let me finish no but seriously it's the best place in town we should go yeah oh my god yeah bring sarah and brian and i'll bring jack and john and we can just all hang out yeah so i was thinking we can go to the mall and then we can go to the movies and then we can go to the beach and then we can oh my god did i tell you that what do you mean i'm talking too much what do you mean i'm annoying I know the answer. Pick me. The next um, word from the acronym OCEAN is agreeableness or agreeable. Um, typically people who are agreeable are generous, empathetic, forgiving, to quote the book, soft-hearted, trusting, helpful. 
on the downside, they can be ruthless, suspicious, uncooperative. This probably varies per situation, as all of these traits definitely do, I would say. So in the book, it says that conscientiousness and um, agreeableness do correlate with jobs. So in the business world, it kind of pays to be, as you can imagine, more agreeable versus disagreeable. And I'm also going to um, give examples of people being disagreeable. How would I handle an irate customer who's upset about the wrong food? Um, yeah, no problem. I would just say, you know, I'm sorry, I would apologize and offer them something else on the menu for free. I don't know where you got salmon mean, because it wasn't from us. Well, you can take your business elsewhere. Bye, have a great day. I completely understand where you're coming from. Yeah, no, I get it. It's okay. No, it's fine. Water under the bridge. Check it out. This peanut butter is perfectly safe for the fridge or for the cupboard, whatever your choice. However, I only recommend this brand because it's the best brand and we're selling it at half price right now. I think it's a good deal. Do you want one? Why would you put peanut butter in the fridge? It doesn't even make sense because it's stupid. It's meant to be on a shelf in a cupboard outside of the cold. Well, you're entitled to your wrong opinion. The last one on the ocean or canoe acronym is neuroticism. The positive side, people who are neurotic tend to be empathetic, uh, emotionally aware. So for the downside of neuroticism, we have anxious, emotionally unstable, uh, self-pitying and insecure, easily distracted. Squirrel! This can like stunt productivity. Anxiety can also help and be a good thing when it comes to maybe getting stuff done. If you have anxiety about not getting it done, you might just do it ASAP to get it over with. Or on the contrary, you might not do anything because you feel like you have too much on your plate and then it becomes a problem. This so. one tends to remind me of uh, the wonderful Kristen Stewart. What? What are you talking about? You smile all the time. I'm smiling right now. I smiled like 10 times during this interview. No, I'm not mad. I'm just being. Well, I have, let's see, homework for my English class, homework for my math class, homework for my history class, homework for my psych class, and then I have to clean my room and feed myself. So I have to eat. Um, yeah, I have a lot to do. Which explains why I have got nothing done. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked my Kristen Stewart impersonation. I moved out here because it was too loud inside and my phone captures every little sound. So that was my comedic take on trait theory. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Squirrel!